How to add or change fill color in Affinity Designer? Let's start with a simple shape. We need something that we can fill with color. As you can see, I got the triangle now. And if I click on that triangle, I can see that there is a fill color and stroke color. Every vector object in the program will have those two things. We can get rid of the stroke color by clicking transparency here. And same with the fill color. Take a look. The fill disappeared, even though the shape is still here. All right, let's change to your favorite color wheel and select a new color from here. That's an easy way. Alternatively, you can use the color panel on the right here to change the color as well. So, if there's a shape, Without a color, let's say with only stroke like that, empty inside, you can just click on that circle and add the color in. No problem. What if we got only lines? It's not a full shape. So let me draw a few lines. Line number one, two, and three. So we got three separate lines. How can we put the color? Here in this enclosed area, select all of the lines first. Then on the left side, search for this little bucket tool, Vector Flat Fill tool. Then you can select the color and hover your mouse over here in this closed area. If you click, a new shape will be created. Take a look in my layer panel, I got a new shape and it's filled with that color we select. Don't worry, we can recolor that easily as well. So it's really easy to change the fill color of any shape in Affinity Designer. What if you're working with the rasters? Affinity Designer is mostly vector editor, but there are some limited raster tools. Simply switch to Pixel Persona, and there are some tools for us that will allow us to select area you want to change and then experiment with that. So by default, while using designer, we are talking about vector shapes. That's what I show you already. All right. Thank you for today. Let's check out the next Affinity Designer tutorial.